bitch, you poppin' yeah. You want it, you got it, got it. You a badass bitch, you poppin' yeah. You a badass bitch, you poppin' Pop You a badass bitch, you poppin' Pop I'm a well ass nigga, I got it What's the deal, JC Gang? It's your girl, Jenna Taya. I am back with another mother freaking video. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Make sure, before we get into the topic, make sure we get, before we get into the topic, make sure to go like, comment, subscribe, click the bell for post notifications to this channel because I don't want y'all to miss anything. We got fingers on the way. My hands are ashy. Don't, no pay attention to my hands, okay? Not pay attention to my hands, but make sure to go do all of that for me because we got bangers on the way, we got challenges on the way, we got a whole bunch of things coming for you guys. And I just messed up my nail, but it's okay, I ain't tripping. Anywho, this is not what this is about. So, we're talking about my high school experience, right. Right. Um, I'm doing it like this. My high school experience. One word I can describe that. Would probably be not just bad, but it was. It's it's a lot of words to describe my high school experience. You got it was tempting testing and mind blowing for one i'm gonna break it up in the years i'm trying to make this video as quick as possible for my storage right now but when i first moved to this part of arkansas i never knew how much drama how much anything could be in one city i'm not a city girl i'm a country girl so I'm not used to all the violence, all the threats, all the bullying and all that stuff. I never knew what bullying was until I moved up here. You feel me? So, back in 2007 is when I first started getting bullied. So, from 2007 to middle school, from middle school to high school, probably my 10th grade years when I started getting bullied. And that's 2000, what, 16, 15, late 2015, beginning of 2016, Whatever. I started getting blue when I was 15 years old. It's not fun. You can go back in your room where you belong. You ain't doing no tricks today. This video is about me. Disappear. Disappear because you're stinky. What I say? Get gone. This is my video today. Bye bye. Bye. Wait, what I just what okay. Anywho, excuse Jack. Anywho. So like my ninth graduate was the worst one because I had this one person I was talking to, right? He's my boyfriend. And I never knew so much drama could come with that. So it was like, after we broke up, a lot of people were saying a lot of rumors. And, you know, rumors are nothing but he say, he say, she say stuff. And so it was like really eating me a lot because half the things they were saying, he was believing. And I didn't understand why he would believe half of those things. And another problem was when school first started, I didn't have Wi-Fi. I didn't have a laptop or none of that stuff. So I straight failed half my ninth grade year you feel me that was the issue but i was just like well what you expect me to do you feel me so continue on to 10th grade year Ten grade year my papa took sick my papa took sick he had to have a surgery but that's really where my focus went to uh, I still had things floating around about my year before, the ninth grade year to the 10th grade year that transpired. I think I started fighting then. I had a lot of people running up to me, and I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of being the victim when I haven't did anything, working, 
can't even come from work on a night shift and begin the next day without somebody having something to say about anything that I don't really know about. Because, I mean, I'm the nicest person you probably even meet. I'm the sweetest person you probably ever meet. Now, come on now. Who can beat that? Why Why you want to mess with somebody like that for? So... Um, to 11th grade. 11th grade year, I actually was working and doing some things, trying to get my grades up. Woo -woo -woo. But I think 11th grade year, I had family issues going on. So a lot of personal things were taking place in my 11th grade year. But check this out. I went to the counselor's office because I got called up there. And she was telling me, like, oh, your transcript is bad. You know, you're not going to be able to do Metro, which is something like that. Help helps with your career or something like that with whatever you want to do i want to do cosmetology school so if i was to do metro i could already be in cosmetology school or halfway finish with half of my hours by now i think it's like 1500 hours for cosmetology school i could be wrong but i gotta research it again but yeah and i was like what do you mean my transcript is bad your transcript is bad because you only have you have more elective classes than core classes. So my mom was messed up then. So me and my mama talked about it over the summer. And we was like, either you're going to have to repeat the 11th grade year or go to another school and have a fresh start. I said, sure. With me working here, I'm supposed to keep track with all this stuff. So we found a school that I graduated from, which was not J. Fair. It was Premier High School. I went there, started over. Fresh start. I think I ended the year with 14 or 16 credits. I forgot. So that was that. It was it was good. No drama at this school. It was a charter school. It was a nice little school, I guess. Barely. We didn't even have a cafeteria. We just had two long tables and hallways. Just being honest. That's how bad the school was. But I didn't have no drama on my end. Too much. But uh, 12th grade year. I felt like when it came to 12th grade year, you know, that's your big year. Everything is popping you off. Everything is starting to come into play. Everything is more serious than it was all the other years, you know. So 12th grade year, we had this principal named Mr. Felton. That's the only thing that really bothered me throughout my whole 12th grade year was Mr. Felton. Mr. Felton stayed on all the seniors' cases about this, about that, about all of this, staying at school. And we looking like staying at school. I was looking like staying at school when I be having to go to work at like 12 o'clock or be there at 11 or whatnot and don't get off until 5 or 6 later on the evening. So how you expect me to stay till 3? You tripping. So it's like I had more beef with the principal than anything. So I was really thinking like, bro, if I don't finish and I got to come back and make up some other things, it's a dropout. GED it will be. It's like, what you mean? And then it took, it took a while for me to find out the actual amount of credits that I had. I had 19 credits in my face. My mama hit me. My mama called my teacher. They talked, she gathered information, told my mama how much I had, guaranteed my mama to text my phone. I almost bursted into tears because I went through so much in high school. People really never knew about I had my friends and people that I talked to, yeah, but I never let too many people on so much that was going on. I had so much going on besides just work and personal issues. I feel like deep down I was dealing with depression because school was getting me down. Every time I felt like I was progressing it felt like talking to Mr. okay i'm back but anyways mr felton was a big part of my problem when it came to high school he had me feeling down and out about it he had me feeling like all the work that i had been doing wasn't worth anything he also had me feeling like that i wasn't gonna make it when i put in my head so many times that I, this is what i want this is what i want to fight for but working and being in school is two complicated things but somehow God made a way, and he told me, this is what you're going to do, and this is how you're going to do it by any means necessary. So I had to put all faith, all fear, all trust, all of that in God. And I prayed and prayed so hard, like I never prayed for anything in my life. Let me tell you, I prayed so hard 
about my high school diploma and to make it just so I can get to the next level of what I'm trying to do. By far, I never thought that I was going to see a cap and gown. I never thought that I was going to hear you have graduation practice. I never thought that I was going to hear my name being called across the stage because of... I, like I said, I went through so much in high school. I really did. I went through so much in school, period. You know, so it's just crazy. It's crazy how much and how many levels high school has or school period has. You know, it takes you up and through there. So, you know, I'm so glad that that chapter is finally done. I can just close it, stamp it, sign, seal, deliver it. It's done. Now it's time to apply for some colleges. You know, I mean, not colleges, God dog it. I mean, <laughs> cosmetology schools, you know, and then later on in the future, you know, plan for a college. Because, yeah, I do want to go to college. Which one? I'm still looking around right now. I'm still searching. But with the hair schools and stuff like that, I have two. No, I have one in mind because I've changed my whole route. So I have one in mind right now. I just found out where it was today, you know, but. I feel like when it comes to anything in life, you just have to pray. And you just have to ask God to hold your head sometimes because you just don't know what to do. And, I mean, on graduation, I cried some tears. I ain't never cried before. And I was just like, bro, a nigga made it. You feel me? Like, finally, after all this time. So now it's time for your girl to move on with her life. And let's get it cracking, because the next thing is getting a license. Between a license and finding a good college school is the next best thing. So, yeah. And I just want my license because, uh, you know, my ID expires. It expired today, but I got it renewed. So, it's like my ID kind of going to be temporary-ish. So, I'm just ready. You know. Simple as that. But your girl gonna end this video off. I hope this video was good. I hope y'all understood most of the things what I was saying. I hope y'all understand how I felt about my high school experience. Your high school experience and my high school experience. Yours might have been easier. Mine was horrible. For the most of it. Just school period was horrible. Being a bully victim and going through your personal stuff. Working and, and trying to reach levels that you think you're not capable of. It's so hard. But when you pray, all your all your prayers get answered. Slowly but for surely. So I mean, hey. I made it. Class of 2K19. You feel me? Premier High School. Simple as that. As y'all females say, period, poo. You know, but I'm going to get up out this video, edit it, and go ahead and upload it for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and do this Summer Try On Heart Part 2 because like it's going to storm. So I'm trying to hurry up and get these videos out to y'all before it rain. I don't know if it's going to rain before I go to work. I do have to go to work at 5. I got to keep my phone charged. So I'm just trying to do all this for you all. All right, JC Gang. See y'all in the next video.